Oh, man. Welcome back to Christina's Garage Gearhead in Training. This week, I'm going to decode the VIN and the cow plate. In order to decode everything, I had to find keys and explanations. So I was able to find Camaros.org, which provided a ton of information. And in 1967, the VIN was located somewhere else and then moved here in 1968. And then in August of 1969, it was moved to the driver's door. But our standard cars now, they're all located in the same spot. The VIN is a 13 digit code and I was able to use the key to break down what each individual part actually means. The first digit is a one, which means that it is a Chevrolet. The second digit is a two, which means that is, it is a Camaro. The third digit helps you determine whether it was a six or eight cylinder engine. In my case, this digit is a four, which means that it was an eight cylinder engine. The fourth and fifth digit refer to the body. Mine is 37, which translates to a coupe body. The sixth digit tells you what year it is. This is a nine here and my car is a 1969. The seventh will tell you which plant it was assembled at. Mine is an L, which refers to the Los Angeles, California plant. The last six digits refer to the vehicle serial and uh, the vehicle serial number and sequence. I brought my notes with me so that I can refer to the information that I got from the website this morning and look at the cow plate to translate. Let's start on the top left. ST6912437. This is the body style code. Starting with the first two digits, which is 69, that is the two digit year, which my car is in 1969. Moving on to the next two digits, which is one, two, that is the body style code and uh, model code. And then the third digit is a four. This refers to the interior. Mine being a four meant that it had standard interior. Then the last two is three, seven. It means that mine was a coupe. It was either a coupe or convertible. And three, seven means that mine was a coupe. Obviously you can tell that it is not a convertible, but that's what, what this code means. Right below that, it says TR711. That is the interior trim code. And I had standard bucket and black interior. Right below that, it reads 11C, which refers to the body build date. The two digits in the front ranged between 1 and 12, and that had a corresponding schedule code. And the letter at the end ranged between A through E, and that had a corresponding week. So since mine said 11C, it meant that assembly started on the third week of November. I found that the production of the 1969 Camaro was actually pushed out longer, so they produced more 1969 Camaros than originally anticipated because the 1970 Camaro wasn't ready yet. My Camaro, based on the timing, 11C being the third week of November, it was in 1968. And based on that timing, I was able to find out that 3,952 1969 Camaros were made in total that month at that particular plant. And that there was a total of 243,085 1969 Camaros total produced. Let's move to the top right, which is the assembly plant code. 
It starts with a letter minus L, which means that it was assembled in the Los Angeles plant. Then the numbers following that are the Fisher body number, and that was assigned when the order was accepted. It doesn't mean that they started assembly at that time. So before, when we looked at 11C, meaning that the third week of November of 1968 is when they started assembling it, you could have had cars that started the same day that had a different Fisher body number. So they're not necessarily correlated. The assembly plate code was only assigned when the order was accepted, not when assembly started. Right below that is the exterior paint code. Mine is 79B. So 79 means that the main color of the body was rally green. And then B actually means that mine had a black vinyl top. Right below that is the Fisher body schedule code. It starts with a letter and then is followed by one to three digits. Mine starts with an L. The letter refers to the number of day in production of the month. So L is the 12th day of production within the month, which also ties back to the previous code 11C. And then 651 means that it was the 651st body of that day that was being assembled. The really cool thing is that by decoding this, I could probably look back at the calendar. I could find the November of 1968, the 12th production day, which I would assume would potentially have been a Tuesday if they worked Monday through Friday, which I, I think is pretty standard for, uh, for that time frame. I, I'd be able to find specifically what date and knowing that it was the 651st body to be uh, assembled that day. I think that's pretty neat. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you uh, the rally green and there's actually proof that I used to have a vinyl top. I'm going to go show you that right now. The one cool thing about having the car completely stripped is you can see things that you might not otherwise. This is the original color, the rally green. When my dad showed me the car, it did not have a vinyl top. I'm assuming that the person who had the car previously, I don't know which owner prior, but they removed the vinyl top. There was no vinyl. But there is proof that it did have a vinyl because of these notches on the top at the bottom. Uh, my bodywork guy said that that's what they used to attach the vinyl to. Thank you so much for joining me. I know I sure learned a ton. I look forward to seeing you guys next week.